This is Great Chefs of France, featuring some of the country's top artisans from Rouen to Lyon, from Paris to Cannes. Welcome to a culinary tour of some of the world's preeminent dining destinations. This time from Paris, Michel Rostang. Also from Paris, Laurent Solovaris. And from Juan Lapin, Marc Janaudet. Michel Rostang grew up in a Michelin two-star restaurant near Grenoble. He attended hotel school in Nice, then worked Paris restaurants before returning to his family's operation. In addition to his Paris namesake, he has opened several baby bistros. Here's his version of artichoke soup. Marc Cosnard de Closet will translate for this dish. First we prepare the artichoke, take the leaves off, which we're going to set aside. Quelques feuilles avec for the soup. Voilà. Et là maintenant avec un couteau, petit couteau, Take on va préparer notre fond d'artichaut. Small knife. Peel away the outside and reveal the artichoke heart. Et on va garder le, un partie du pied de l'artichaut. We keep part of the stem. Here's our artichoke. We rub with some lemon juice. The fibrous material is removed from the artichoke heart, and the cup will be stuffed with these finely diced products, including foie gras, in the center. Mm -hmm. I'm cooking the artichokes. Add white wine to the glaze. We let this reduce a little bit. And each artichoke was rubbed first with lemon juice to prevent them from getting dark. This is how you preserve the nice green color of the artichokes. Otherwise, they darken quickly. Now I add the poultry stock. Poultry and veal stock, actually. Season with salt. Fresh pepper. Now we cover it and let it cook. The soup begins with the leaves in hot olive oil. Je rajoute les artichauts, les feuilles d'artichaut. Here we have the artichoke leaves in the olive oil. On va laisser revenir. Sauté them a bit. 
Alors c'est une recette où il n'y a pas de perte. On utilise les, les cœurs d'artichaut et les feuilles d'artichaut. This is a recipe where there's no waste because we use the heart of the artichokes and the leaves. Faut bien les faire revenir. On va sauter these really well. Après on rajoute la, les oignons. Now we have the chopped onions. Et l'ail. And the garlic. Les feuilles et les oignons sont bien revenus. On va déglacer au vin blanc. 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 On va déglacer au vin On va laisser réduire un petit peu le vin blanc. On va laisser réduire ce mois. Alors voilà, le vin blanc a réduit. So now the red wine is reduced. Now we're going to add more After this is reduced, heavy cream is added. Et le, le temps de cuisson est à peu près une heure, une bonne heure. Hein. And we cook this Tout for about an hour, very slowly. Et ce que je vais faire, je vais même rajouter encore un petit peu de, de la cuisson de mes artichauts. Pour donner un peu plus de goût. And then we put a few drops of the artichoke cooking liquid. Notre, euh, notre soupe a cuit une bonne heure. Et après ceci, on l'a passé au au blender ou à la moulinette où on l'a passé avec une, euh, sur un tamis donc on a, une, on a une soupe qui est très onctueuse qui est très claire after letting, a, after letting it cook for an hour we took the artichoke leaves and all the liquid and put it through a blender and then we strained it to get this consistency on va prendre les, les artichauts que l'on a cuit on les remplit de farce la petite farce qu'on a fait tout à l'heure avec la brunoise de légumes, le foie gras et le jambon. On va les chauffer un petit peu, délicatement dans, dans de l'eau de cuisson de, des artichauts par exemple. Et on va prendre nos artichauts stuffed artichoke hearts et les heat them up a little bit in some of the juice left over from cooking the artichokes. So now, l'assiette, les deux artichauts. Put the two artichokes that have been stuffed at the bottom of the plate. Ladle the soup around the artichoke hearts. Then we add a little bit of ham. Can use any kind of smoked ham, Parma ham, Bayonne ham. Pour notre part, nous utilisons les, les jambons corse. We use Corsican ham. Testamera, les têtes noires, les porcs noirs. Testamera ham. Voilà. Un petit peu d'huile d'olive. A little olive oil to decorate. Et puis. The chef de cuisine at the well-known Guy Savoie in Paris is Laurent Solavaris. He trained at the hotel school in Avignon, then worked in London, Provence, and Lyon before coming to Paris. He says his family influenced his career choice. Here is filet of breast chicken with chanterelles en papillot. 
for this dish, we will listen to Mark Cosnard de Closet's translation. First thing we're going to do is clean the chanterelle mushrooms to remove some of the dirt around the base of the stem. Quickly. A couple times. Very quickly. In cold water. You want to wash these until they're clean. You can wash them four or five times. Just don't leave them in the water too long because all the flavor will drain out into the water. The mushrooms are cooked in chicken stock, butter, and a little salt. Vous rajoutez encore un petit peu de sel sur la girole. A little more salt to the chanterelles. Et puis un petit couvert. And cover them. Shallots are finely chopped. Le persil plat. We take our flat parsley. Tout ceci pour les girolles. This is all for the chanterelles. Le persil plat est, est meilleur en goût que le persil euh, frisé. Il est plus puissant. Flat parsley has a stronger taste than uh, curly parsley. That's why we use the flat parsley. Il ne faut pas trop le hacher, sinon vous allez l'écraser, puis toute, ces, toute la serrure du persil va, va s'assombrir, ça sera beaucoup moins bon. Il faut simplement donner trois ou quatre coups de couteau. You want to cut it up, but you don't want to cut it too fine, then the flavor will disappear. Voilà, ça suffit. Vous conservez ça. The cooked chanterelles are strained. The juice is retained and reduced. Okay. Bien, donc... On va hacher les, les, les girolles so here we're still the un petit peu It's a little. pour mettre à l'intérieur du, du suprême de volaille de bresse This is what we're stuff the, uh, pour lui donner un goût de girolles déjà à cœur. We want to give it a chanterelle flavor. Voilà. This is the well-known chicken from Brest. It's one of the many French products that are officially regulated by the government and granted a quality label. Now we're going to prepare the chicken to get one breast off. Donc les volailles de bois c'est l'une des. On va prendre le suprême. Ensuite, vous soulevez le filet mignon de la volaille. Vous mettez un petit peu de sel de Guérande. Put some sea salt. Les échalotes. Feu. Vous Et puis surtout les girolles. On va mettre des chalotes et puis les chanterelles. Les girolles hachées. Voilà. Une noisette de beurre. Some butter. Vous refermez ensuite Close it up. le filet. Not to find the, the breast is set on foil with some of the mushroom juice, butter, and whole chanterelles. Our chicken breast. The characteristic method of closing the papillote container is used. It's placed in a pan with some water and cooked for 10 to 15 minutes in a 375 degree oven. Meanwhile, the sauce is made using the mushroom juice, a piece of foie gras, and butter. It's seasoned with a little pepper and strained. Avec un fouet. The whole mushrooms are warmed in butter and seasoned with the diced shallot and chopped parsley. Voilà, et ensuite le persil plat, au dernier moment. 
foil is opened and the breast removed. The cooking juices are added to the sauce and the breast is sliced for presentation. La Terrasse restaurant in the Hotel Juana at Cannes serves the pastry of Chef Marc Janaudet. He was born in the Jura region in France and got into pastry for a very sensible reason. He liked sweets. He's worked in Nice's Hotel Negresco and at Moulin de Mougin, Roger Verger's great restaurant. Here is his dessert of seasonal fruits. An incredible array of fresh fruit in France includes strawberries, nectarine, peach, plum, apple, and pear et avec une gousse de vanille pour les parfumer. A split vanilla bean is used in the dish. Everything will be briefly cooked in a little butter. Sugar is added. Add a little bit of water. The fruits go into what in France is called a cocotte, which means casserole. Voilà. An eggy pasta dough is rolled out. A beaten whole egg is brushed around the edge, and the pasta will be placed there as a sealer. This is a method employed for years in the repertoire of classic French haute cuisine, although it was usually associated with a famous pheasant dish called sauvarat. The cocotte goes into a 325-degree oven. The dish will also include a cylinder of brioche. Voilà. 
It will be soaked in a mixture of light syrup and a product called almond milk. Quantité suffisante pour avoir un bon parfum. Qui m'a trempé ma brioche. The almond theme is carried through with this almond paste. It's piped onto the soaked brioche. Sur mon bostock. Then sliced almonds are carefully arranged on top. C'est un petit jeu de patience. Powdered sugar is sprinkled on top of the completed product, and a torch is used to caramelize it. Légèrement au chalumeau. The cocotte is out of the oven. C'est là que se dégage tout le parfum de la vanille et des fruits. Et là, je dispose les fruits autour de Bostock. A garnish is a sprig of the pungent lemon-scented herb, verbena. 